Sacco Bay, 1896. This wonderfully atmospheric sunset met with mixed reviews when it was first exhibited publicly in the late 1890s. It was awarded a gold medal at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts in 1897, and a critic for the Washington Post wrote that it was by far the masterpiece of the exhibition. A few months later, however, when it was shown at the Society of American Artists in New York City, one commentator criticized the painting's unnatural strawberry sky. Sterling Clark first saw the painting in 1923 and was impressed by it. He wrote in his diary that when seen in a good light, it was a very fine picture. A single boat sails across a sea, which is for the moment serene. Two women are shown almost completely in silhouette, outlined by the pink light of the setting sun and its reflection on the surface of the water. We can see the lobster trap and the fishing net they carry, but their faces are hidden in shadow. This is one of the last of Homer's works in which women appear, and they seem to be carved from the same material as the boulders on which they stand. But the figures have more to do with pictorial composition than with any attempt to record real life. The figures link the shadowed area of solid ground in the foreground with the open expanse of the evening sky. More than 10 years before, between the spring of 1881 and the fall of 1882, Homer had lived in the fishing village of Colorcoats on the northeast coast of England. The memory of the Colorcoats women, their physical and spiritual strength, and their dignity in the face of ever-present danger and frequent tragedy remained with him when he returned to the United States. The women in Sacco Bay seemed to share some of the strength of character Homer saw in their sisters across the sea.